What do you do when things do not turn out right the first time, when you have to troubleshoot and figure things out? That's what we're going to talk about today. This has to happen to me literally in the longest. Typically, when I do things the first time, that kind of turned out pretty good. You guys, if you've been watching me, you see that. But today, we had to troubleshoot and figure some things out. So, if you're interested in that, stay tuned and stay to the very end because I want to give you guys some tips and different things. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Today I'm super duper excited and I'm excited because sometimes things don't turn out right the first time and that's okay. That's how we learn, that's how we grow, that's how we expand, and I'm actually really happy that these things happen today. I'm going to show you two tumblers that I did. One of them was a little bit scorched, just a little bit, and the other one turned out great, but this came with some trial and some error. I'm going to be reviewing behind me, see this pretty purple e -Nor double tumbler press, which can be great, great, great for your business. So I'm going to show you what happened. I'm going to show you the unboxing. I'm going to show you what happened. Then I'm going to show you how I fixed it and how I'm still working on it. Okay. So if you're interested in that, if you're starting on sublimation, you have any questions, you're interested in getting this tumbler press, this is going to be a great video for you because Everything isn't always perfect, but we can always work through it and fix it. So let's just jump right into the video. Let go. Okay, guys. So like I said, we are going to be unboxing the e two-station tumbler press machine. And we about to see how this thing do, right? Y'all trying to broaden your business, turn your class for profit. You want to make sure that you get getting money and that you are working smarter not harder we could do two at one let's see how this is about to go okay So it's packaged nicely. So when you first open it up, there is the two station tumbler mug press. This is the user manual. And we have that right there for you. You always wanna keep the user manual, okay? I have a whole area for uh, and see, something came out of there. So you want to make sure you pay attention. So you want to make sure you keep your user manuals. It gives you everything that you need to start it up. Okay, instructions, safety instructions, specifications, the control panel, how to operate, operation steps. It shows you pictures. I like that. So it doesn't just show the words, it shows pictures and everything. Then it also has the printing parameters, right? The material, the status, the temperature, and the time. So this is really good. I like this. I really like the pictures. And they in color. They have troubleshooting, warranty, all that good information. So this is A1. And I'm going to keep this because... Clearly, this needs to be, and it's two of them. So, clearly, it's a reason that they're in here. So, we're going to keep that. We're going to put this in a safe spot. And that's dope. All right. So, once you take that top off, this is how it looks. And the inside is so cute. And I asked for purple because from what I saw, they didn't have pink. Here, of course is the electrical outlet information. It's in the bag, and then we're gonna take it and I'm gonna scoot it off this way. Okay, that's how we're gonna get it out of there instead of lifting it up. 
And then there's the box that it was in. We're going to just put that over there for right now. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check it out the bag. It's so cute. So y'all know I'm the girliest girl girl. I'm a girly girl. So pink is my favorite color. And then coming in second is purple. Okay. So let me show you guys how it looks. This is how it looks. Has this, these levers over here. The side. It says no heating up without mug. So I'm gonna read the instructions and see why. Some more buttons. Then more for the information. Okay. So let me see which way I wanna have it. They have it left, marked left, and marked right. Let me bring y'all in so y'all can see it up close. All right, so this is how it looks up close. The adjustment knobs. Okay, then this is a little clip thing there. like a little lever and as you can literally see there one this one is bigger than this one and I'm gonna show you the exact parameters of them but this one is bigger one of them is bigger than the other one okay and so that's how it looks Okay, and that clamps down. And that clamps down. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So it kind of, it, depending on the size, can like try to go all the way around. Depending on the size. So we're going to see which sizes we're going to use. Okay. So that's the up close. Here is where the cord goes in. All right, I'm about to plug it in. Okay. That's how it looks when it comes on. tighten those up we're gonna make sure that the size can fit inside of here before we plug it up again okay so this one is a little short so we not oh no it's not short this fits in here perfect so the left side is 2.7 by 3.2 inches and 10.6 inches in height so we go that's the bigger one this is the right one and the right side is 10.6 inches in height but it's 2.45 by 2.8 inches 8 8 inches so we're gonna put the bigger one this is actually 9.25 by 9 so we're gonna put this one in the larger one and then this smaller one is 9.25 by 7 so we're going to put this one on this side, okay? So the right side is smaller than the left side of this one. They made it two different sizes, all right? So we just have to make sure that it can fit around it. So when it can't fit around it, we're just going to have to unscrew it, okay? So let me unscrew. You want to make sure these sides are 
one, two, three, you do one, two, three. Whatever you do on one side, you do on the other so that it can be even because we need this to collapse, to collapse with that, okay? So let me tighten, let me undo these, make sure they're all the correct size so it can be evenly on there, okay? Okay, so both of them are tight inside of there. They're collapsed in. This can collapse. They're both the same. They're nice and they won't move because you want them tight. So you see this part, that's why we're going to have to rotate it because this part won't be getting the heat. And on here, this one is almost completely covered. So that's how you see. You see, like I said, this one is bigger on the left side than the right side. And that's what I mean. This leaves more out and I have to rotate it. But this is almost completely wrapped around, which I still have to rotate it, but it's not this much out. You see that? You see that difference? How this, the left side is bigger than the right so that's dope and that's even if you're only doing like one side let's say if i only had a design that had one side i definitely probably do this one um and if i did two at a time because this one's going to completely cover it i'm not sure why they did them two different sizes but this size this seems a little bit more um this side seems a little bit more coverage. I don't know why they did it like that, but that's the way it is. I'm going to plug it in. And when you heat these up, they want you to have something inside of there. So they want you to have something inside of there when you heat it up. They want you to have a tumbler inside of there when you heat it up. They said to keep the longevity of the machine. I don't know why, but that's what they want. All right. So these are the tumblers I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to plug this in, heat them up. We're going to print the images, the sublimation images out and see how they turn out. Also, you guys know before I do anything, I clean my tumblers with alcohol. So I make sure they're clean with alcohol before I wrap them for sublimation. All right. So I printed them out. Go ahead and see what it do. I went ahead, got this, this um, seconds ready, the times ready, cleaned them off with alcohol. I'm about to wrap them up. I need more tape, y'all. I hope it's enough tape. hope it's enough heat transfer tape. So I need, this is Cricut heat transfer tape. I got this from Amazon. This is also on Amazon. The affiliate link will be down in the description. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead, tape these up and press these and see how they turn out. I'm nervous. Now, every design is different. This design kind of has a cheat sheet because it has the lines. So you can try to make sure that the lines line up as close as possible. You can cut more off if you want try to try to make sure the lines are even. But with these, it's kind of a cheat sheet for the seam. Okay, so we could try to cut a little bit off. You don't want to cut too much off because it's a line. You don't want it to overlap. So this is really, really important. I hope I didn't cut too much off. But I do have my heat gloves on. And so what I'm doing is I'm wrapping it around. And remember, we made it a little bit longer, everything a little bit more. And you just line these up as close as possible to make sure that they line up together. And it's a little overlap. And like I said, what you could do is you could keep cutting it off more. It all depends on how you want to do it. But I'm just going to line it up like this. I'm going to put the tape on there. Make sure it's lined up as possible. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. All right, so I have this nice and tight, and we're gonna do these first, then we're gonna do the next one, okay? So these are the first two. So these are the first two that we're gonna do. Let's scoot them over, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. Make 
make sure it's nice and tight in there. Then I'm gonna slide this one in. On the other side. All right, they're in. And then we're gonna press the green buttons for them to start. So the temperature is 350 degree, degrees for 150 seconds and then for an additional 50 seconds, okay? Do not write this down because this is not the correct information. I had to figure that out. Keep watching. All right, so it made the beeping noise. I'm gonna unclaps it. Come on. All right, and then now I'm gonna rotate them. Now, I did not like, I had to mute it, y'all, because it was still making that beeper noise, and that thing was irking my nerves, okay? Y'all know I keep it real, and I didn't want <laughs> you guys to keep hearing that, but I did want you guys to see how I had to figure it out. This is my very first time using this, so I just wanted to keep it real and let you guys know exactly how I had to figure it out. So, I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm not blocking those things out. I'm letting you know that it was a little bit of a struggle for me for the first time. And a lot of times, you know, when we get to edit and we're recording, you know, we can edit those things out. I wanted to keep this a true, honest review. All right, so now I'm gonna do it for, it says 50 more seconds, but I'm gonna do it for 60 more seconds on the other side. We are gonna see how they turn out. All right, so it's been 60 seconds. And I'm going to take them out and I'm going to see this one look like I might have, I don't know. Let's see. They seem, seem hot, seem real hot. You see that look a little, little burn. Well, look a little yellow. So let's see what these about to be. I don't know y'all. I'm a little nervous, honestly. But oh wait. Seemed like they were on there a little bit too long. I'm gonna have to turn it down. The directions they gave us, it burned it a little bit. Y'all, it started beeping again. That beep. It's so annoying. I had to mute it. I said, what the heezy? I ain't want y'all to have to deal hear that, y'all. Okay. All right. So, these got a little burn. So, the... Let's see. It's not real bad, but... It was too high or too long. So, I see I'm going to have to figure out my own temperatures. Because they said 350 for 120. These were a little bit, in my opinion, on here too long. They look a little bit, they're a little burned. So I'm going to change the, hmm, yeah, I'm going to change the temperature. This looks good. This one don't look burned. This one, this one looks okay. But I don't really like that seam. The seam is not giving what it's supposed to give. The front of it looks better than this one. This looks a little bit burn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the temperature down. By like 10 degrees. And then I'm going to not press them as long and see how they turn out i mean they look all right but it's not giving like how my tumblers normally look so let's try this again let's see what they do at 325 for 120 seconds and then 60 seconds we're gonna see how it goes this time all right so that's the first round. I'm just going to rotate it a little bit and do it for 50 more seconds. All right. I made a mistake and did it for 60 more seconds. 
And it still look like it overdid it. Oh, I did it too long again, y'all. All right. I was only trying to do it for 50. Yep. Let's see how it looks. Okay, this one looks good. This one, okay, so I see what I'm going to have to do. This one looks super good. Okay, we did it for this one, y'all. And I purposely left that out so I wouldn't have to worry about that. I specifically was worried about the colors. Okay, this one still looks a little bit burnt, but I'm figuring it out. Okay. So I was worried. Yeah, I was really worried. But we're going to even make it go down. We're going to turn the heat down a little bit more. Not on this video, but these colors look great. So I'm, I don't know if y'all can see it. The lighting might not be good. Y'all might not be able to see it. I need y'all to see. So this one looks good. Okay, so the right side, I think I know the color settings for that one. And I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with the right side. The left side, I'm going to have to turn the volume, the, uh, the heat down. It does not look bad, but it's just a little bit too hot. So that's a good thing that I'm learning the size. Okay, I was worried at first, y'all. And I like the bottoms of it, the tops. I just wanted to make sure. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to talk to y'all about what I was concerned about and what I'm... And what I'm happy with. So let's look at the comparison. So this one was when it was a little bit like too burned. And then this one is when it came out good. So can y'all see the difference in that? Say I can see the difference in the comments if you can. Okay. I can see the difference. All right. Thank you. I hope the camera can pick it up. But this looks really good. This one looks a little burnt. So we found the right temperature setting. This is perfect for the right temperature setting. I'm happy with that. Then let's compare the left. This one looks better, but it's still, this one is way more burnt than this one, but it can still get better. Okay, I'm happy. Y'all, I was worried at first. I ain't even gonna lie. The blues look good on here. So I either can do the same temperature and possibly less time, but definitely the temperature setting change. Okay, I'm super happy. I'm happy and I got some stuff that we could talk about and that we can discuss. The cut. Okay, good. All right, let's talk about it. Okay, y'all. Y'all see what happened. So now let's talk about it. Every time you do something, it doesn't turn out perfect. And that's okay. This is trial and error. All right. So with this tumbler press, it actually is a really cool concept. We can knock two tumblers out at once, mugs out at once, etc. But we want to make sure that we're doing things and we're doing them correctly. So let's take a look at the tumblers. At first, it was kind of a little burnt. Then the other one, it ended up working out. Okay. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so with this tumbler, you can see, hopefully you guys can see it. It's a little brown. It's not as bright and vibrant. This one, the black is popping, the red is popping, the green, the blue, it turned out really great. I had to adjust the settings of the temperature to make sure that it got what it was supposed to get, okay? And this is what happens with sublimation. Every single time you do something, it's not going to be just perfect right out the box. Even with the directions, you're going to have to play around with them to figure them out. Now, once you get the correct setting, no one likes to waste time or waste money. So once you get the correct setting, I suggest that you write it down in a notebook. Get you a a uh, journal, a notebook that's specifically for crafting where you can write the settings. So for each type of tumbler, the settings that you'll be using, the settings as far as the sizing, the width, the height, the setting of whichever tumbler press you're going to be using. I have multiple ones. So you want to make sure you're documenting these. So when you are ready to start pressing and getting things out, 
you can make th make sure things are set up correctly with the correct Tumblr press. I want you to start documenting and writing things down for your own notes so you won't make mistakes repeatedly. It's okay to make mistakes. We all are human. We make mistakes. And honestly, this isn't a mistake. This is a learning curve. This is a new Tumblr press. It's new. We don't know the settings. We know the heat. This is our first time using it. So once we figure it out, then we can move from there. We know what the correct setting for the right Tumblr press is because this one turned out great. The left one we're still working on and that's okay. I'm going to show you the differences in the Tumblr press that was on the left. This was the first one. It's kind of brown. You can see that it's a little bit, it's not as vibrant. It's a little brown. This one is a lot more vibrant. It still isn't popping like how my stuff pop. You know what I'm saying? Like the other one, but it is a lot better. So now we know this was too high and we pressed it too long. I think for the next time I do this one, I'm going to press it a shorter amount of time with the same heat because we want to get it to absorb. So I'm going to press it just a shorter amount of time to make sure that we don't overcook it. Okay. So these are just learning experiences and I hope the camera can pick them up because this one looks a lot better than this. The blue looks more vibrant, the black, the red, everything looks better on here, but it's still not as popping as I typically like to get. Okay. So I'm going to show you the two together. This one and then this one. And you probably can see how popping this white is and how this has like a little brown because it got a little bit overcooked. It's a little more brown. This one is more white. So this was in the right side and this is the left side. You guys know with this particular Enor Tumblr press, the left side is bigger and it closes more than the right side. So you want to be sure that you're writing this down and keeping this for your records. So this is the final one for us for today. I'm extremely happy with this. I will be working on getting this setting together, but at least we know trial and error, guys, and give yourself grace, okay? So if you're interested in the Enor Double Tumblr Press, my affiliate link will be down in the description. Make sure if you get it that you give yourself some grace, get you some practice tumblers, some practice mugs, so you won't have to worry about it, right? It's all learning and we're all going to figure it out. This Tumblr press, once I get it to where I need it to get, I think it's going to help to produce more tumblers within my business, help me get things out faster, and that's the key. Remember, we're working smarter, not harder, and we're turning our crafting um, and our hobbies into profit. That's what we're focused on. So, overall, I think this is a pretty decent Tumblr press. I will be working on and making sure that I'm getting it perfect, like how I love it to be. Y'all know how hard I am. If you're new here, then I'm hard on myself. If you've been here, you already know how I get. Overall, I'm really happy with it, especially this one. I'm really happy with this one. The colors are good. They're popping. And you know, one thing that I was really concerned about was making sure that, no, this is not the right one. Was this? No. And I'm really, really happy with this one, okay? One thing that I was worried about was making sure the pressure all around the tumbler press was good because you don't want things to be uneven or not look good. And the pressure is good. These colors are good. Everything seems to have worked out really good when I got that temperature and everything right, the temperature and the time right. So make sure you're giving yourself some great. So I'm happy with this one. These colors are popping. These colors are popping. They turned out good. I'm happy with, I say, like the pressure around it, the collapse of the tumbler press. Everything was cool. Now, remember when I talked about those knobs, you want to make sure that the knobs are even on both sides. That if you do three turns to the left on this side, then you do three turns to the left on that one. You want to make sure that they're even so everything can get an even press and things can turn out great. Okay. So those are just some tips that I have. Like I said, the link will be down in the description. It'll be on my Amazon storefront. If you're interested, please drop any comments, any tips, anything down below. I'm always interested in what you guys have to say but yeah y'all we ended up doing y'all know I could not have gotten it good y'all know how I am so we're going to be doing a new segment called comment shout outs NJ stated hello fellow Libra my birthday is October 3rd as well 
awesome video. I order my rhinestones. My other materials are here except the little brush. Need to get that. Once my rhinestones comes, I'll be ready to go with you with your video. Heather stated they have more than just shirts. Dreamers activate. Evelyn from Instagram said, it's good to hear good news. I am happy to follow someone that is so gracious and humble. God always allows us to follow those who are selfless and willing to help others. Be blessed and be a blessing to others. Tiffany stated, this is awesome. I'm headed over there now talking about Bella Canvas. Tonisha said, Detroit, and that's on period. <laughs> Rook Deb said, I love Bella Canvas. Thank you for all the info. You are the sweetest. You're welcome. I love Bella Canvas as well. Dr. Fashion says, so happy for you, sister. Keep being great. Same to you, sis. I love you. Cassandra said, I'm loving the look of the albatross and the crop hoodies. Me too. Bella Canvas is the bomb, y'all. That's a Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Holla at your girl. If you have not already, please join our Facebook group, Crafty Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. Follow me on Instagram, Do Dreamer is a handle. TikTok, Do Dreamer is a handle. And I love y'all. Y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. here. Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.